Welcome back to the show, everybody. 401 in uh, New York City. We thank you for joining us here on the Michael K. Show. Okay, so about a month or so ago, uh, there was a story in the Post that um, said that I was considering <laughs> leaving the show and retiring from the radio portion of my career. Mm -hmm. And it has become almost something that has become annoying where people are so are they're nice and saying please don't retire and uh, people have been speculating i'm sure some of the the bosses were thrilled about all the uh, uncertainty as well uh so we're going to put kind of a cap on it and tell you exactly what's going on now i will be honest with you when that story in the post came out what was it, about a month ago don maybe more maybe more, maybe more. That, yeah. i i was i was pretty certain that that was that was going to be it. That I would you know I would leave the show after 21 years in September. It had been a great run, a long run, and uh, I just said you know that that's it. I'm I'm probably too old uh, to do it. Uh, Even though to be clear, you are not the reason that story got came out. No, no, I, I don't know how that story came you out. Actually, you actually seemed pretty annoyed about it, right? Because it, it led led to all of this conjecture and probably put some pressure on everybody involved to get some sort of resolution. <laughs> so here's the deal. Um, after much deliberation, sleepless nights, talking with my family back and forth, I, I, I don't want to give this up. I, I love working with Don and Peter. I love the people I work with here at the station. And I'm going to continue here. Ugh. So I've signed a new contract, and uh, I will uh, I will continue on the show. Um, I guess I could say I'm 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 not done giving opinions, and uh, it, it was um, it was something that after after much deliberation came to me easily. Uh, the, the the ESPN was great. They expressed their desire. They wanted me back, and you know what? I ended up saying I want to be back as well. So now we could put to rest the retirement and all that. It's not happening. I'm going to be here for a a good long while. So uh, that's that's the news. That's the personal stuff. And now we could kind of say, okay, next. Good. It's nice Got to it. have you back, Michael. Even though you never never left, left. never left. And, and and Michael, you know deep down, I'm. I think you believe I'm somewhat happy by this. Don is throwing up in his mouth. You yeah, can hear Don's it. not thrilled. Yeah, no, Don, Don's no. not thrilled. But he was, I was ready. I was, I was prepared. You were prepared. You were thinking about because I, here, here's the deal, though, Peter. I think he was thinking, "Got to be nice to get rid of this big oaf." That would be number one. Mm, yeah. And then number two, he started to think, and I think that you helped him along with this thought. We don't know what new big oaf they bring in. That's right. Because I wouldn't have a say. Right. So the the oaf you know is better than the oaf that you don't know. Listen, I'll be very brutally honest oh, here. No. Okay is that we've gone through this at every end of every contract. I'm going, this is it, I'm done, and we roll our eyes. Right. This one was different. Like, this one felt real. It was real. So I didn't think it was your typical, you know, hemming and hawing, but eventually, you know, deciding to cave and come back. I really thought that you were contemplating it, and I understood it. I get it now. I've got a family. I know how difficult it is to juggle the different jobs and stuff, so I wasn't really sure. And in all seriousness, it's... It's life changing for for me and Peter because you don't you know you don't know what's on the other side. We know we're comfortable. I've worked with you, you know, Peter. Aside for now, we've been together, Michael, for over 21 years. We just celebrated our 21st an 20th anniversary, but coming up on July 15th is actually going to be 20 uh, 21 years that we've been together on this show. Yeah. So. Uh, I didn't want to see it come to an end. There's a comfortability that comes with sitting next to you every day and, and knowing what to do and how to do it. So the fact that it's going to be extended, I think, is a great thing. So you thank know, you. Uh, well, an ESPN executive who I was dealing with actually made a point that really resonated with me because I keep saying, well, I'm, I'm older. I'm getting older. And he said, Michael, you're 62. You're not 85. He said 62 is a relatively mm -hmm. young man in this world. He said, what are, you, what are you talking about? So, again, I'm thrilled to be um, By the way, he staying. was not the only – whoever that wise executive was, I, I, I can't imagine he was the only person who said that to you. He's the only person that said it that it actually stuck. Wow. Uh, wow. You know, the way he okay. said it was because he said it with a little bit of a, uh, a curse word in there as well, and it kind of woke me up. Well, that, I, I appreciate that sentiment because I've always thought that. And I think he said something, you know, you're not bleeping 85 years old. Well, and also, here, there's this thing. People have a tendency to believe they're always so good. 
And then you go back and listen to tapes and you go, well, I wasn't very good then. You know, I just, I just, it wasn't as good as it, I thought I was great, but I wasn't. I really feel, I've said this to you about your baseball career, but I feel it about here too. I really feel like you've gotten to your prime somewhat recently. So I, I, I didn't understand it. And I think, frankly, the super buttoned up version of Michael Kay that exists on the Yankee broadcast would sort of miss the the agitated, unhinged sports fan with opinions that Michael Kay is on the on the Kay show. And furthermore, for me and Don, it was stressful because we believed there was a good shot, Don, more than more likely than not, that they were going to say, you know, whatever jabroni who played five years five years of sports on a New York team. No, got to be a football player. Sorry, a football player would right. come in and take the main chair. And I'm just being completely transparent. I would call it at that point 50-50 at best. I stay. So my whole career could have also been flipped upside down. I don't know what Dom would have said, but I, unless it was someone very specifically who I believed in, I'm good. I, I'm, yeah, I would have I, figured something I, else out. You always joke around like, oh, we can't wait for you to leave. Nothing could be further from the truth. Well, you know, just to get on the cornball side of it. Sure, why not? I, I don't know if you – I, I know Peter saw this. I don't know if you saw the tweet yesterday. I, I was getting a lot of this. There, there's a young man that has been dealing with depression. Okay. And he Thanks. said that the, what you guys do every day just to make me laugh a little bit takes my mind off what I'm battling. And I've gotten a lot of that too where, you know, you guys bring such smiles to I mean – uh, all these little things contributed to me saying, you know what, I I'm not done yet. And mm -hmm. you know what? I think Peter and Don would agree. We have unfinished business here. Yeah. We think that this show, you could argue all you want. You could call up. You could hit me on social media, whatever. you. This is the best sports talk show in the country. Now, if at times the ratings don't reflect that, so be it. But we continue to want to make this a great show where you enjoy it where we enjoy doing it, where you have fun listening for four hours, and that's the key. I'm not done yet, and I've decided I want more, and I want I want good things for the show, and I want it to do well, and I want it to do better, and I want it to just continue to grow and be great. So mm -hmm. there we have it. We can we put go. it to bed. Now we can put it to bed. We can uh, put it to bed. Sweet dreams. I feel good. I feel good about this.